IntelliJ IDEA 2016.2 has improvements to aid debugging. Firstly, the UI has been simplified, merging the watches and variables views. You can split them apart again if you prefer, or keep them in the same view. This way you can see all of the relevant variable information as well as specific watches in the same place. Secondly, conditioned expressions on breakpoints have been updated to support multi-line expressions. As you'd expect, you get code completion here too. This support also extends to evaluate and log, so you can display the results of a fragment of code rather than just a single line, and also to data type renderers, so you can use more complex expressions to show summary information. IntelliJ IDEA 2016.2 contains improved version control tooling. The log viewer has a new loading progress display under the toolbar, but you won't see it often as the viewer has been updated to load in the background on every change, so it's ready whenever you need it. You can also now select more than one commit and see the details for all of them together. Another small improvement is you can now use Command L or Control L on Windows and Linux to navigate directly to the log filter. Applying patches is much easier now. You can drag a patch directly into the editor window to apply it. Or if you have the contents of the patch on the clipboard and then switch focus back to IntelliJ IDEA, it will apply the patch. IntelliJ IDEA is now a bit smarter about applying patches too. For example, if a file has been moved or renamed since the patch was created, the IDE will let you know and try to figure that out, or you can manually choose the file. Just a couple more VCS features to mention. IntelliJ IDEA correctly handles case-only renames on Windows and OS X, both for committing those changes and correctly rolling them back. And the last VCS feature is a small but very useful change. Now the commit dialog shows unversioned files in their own tree, which should help you if you forgot to add a new file. Moving on from the source control changes, there are some editor changes to note. With the addition of lambdas to Java 8 and the rise of the polyglot programmer, more of us are seeing lambda expressions in our code. Now, if you've selected an appropriate font that supports it, you can enable ligatures to make your arrows and other symbols prettier. Syntactically, the code is the same, it's just displayed in a way that many find more readable. Also in the editor, support for regular expressions has been extended to allow code completion for named group references and to give better error reporting. Another change you may notice is the notifications now pop up in the bottom right corner. They're grouped by subsystem as well as being more compact and so are more helpful. And now you can get a custom look to your editor by adding a background image. Here I've used Find Action to select a new background image but you can also get there from the context menu on an image in the project tool window or via the image editor. You'll see changes in the inspections view in IntelliJ IDEA 2016.2. For each problem found, the code itself is now displayed on the right. You can edit this code directly, suppress the warning at the appropriate level, navigate to the code location, or simply apply the fix. As usual, the latest version includes new inspections. One worth mentioning is the ability to locate object instantiation inside frequently used methods like equals and hash code. Replacing this instantiation could give you significant performance improvements.